My name is Michael Ranta. I am a black and white film photographer living in Casper, Wyoming. Um, I was invited to show here at the Boca Gallery and I'm very grateful for that. I first got into photography in high school. My mom gave me a 1970s Canon film camera that she had used when she was in college for photography. Um, I had grown up looking at photography of hers and photo books that you would just leave around the house my entire life and I kind of just fell into it and when I enrolled in high school photography it didn't go so well. My teacher was rather strict and we didn't really see eye to eye in any assignment that I did and uh, regardless I, I did the best I could and made it through high school and continued to photograph when I was out with my friends, just the things that we would do and the places we'd go and we'd get into a lot of trouble and I was always there taking photographs of it and I, I continued to think that those were great photographs even today. I, when I started riding trains, it was really natural to just take my camera with me and I ended up meeting a lot of really great people and taking some photographs that I was really proud of and when when Boca asked me to do a show for them, I, I was really grateful and I continued to you know, just take photos and go out and ride the trains as, as much as I could. And I, I would spend as, all the summer weather that I could until it started to get too cold to ride anymore. And I would just pack all my film with me and it would just pile up in my bag and I was constantly worried that it was gonna be damaged or lost. And I'm sure that I unknowingly lost a few rolls of film but um, everything's been working out really well. I, um, all the photographs are black and white film. They are all printed in the darkroom um, by myself. I, I continue to go out and shoot photographs even when I'm not riding trains or doing anything particularly exciting. I, I seem to always have a camera with me. I, when I went out the first time, I, I began to you know, grow really attached to the people that I, would meet, that I would meet and we slowly kind of became a family and people would really treat us differently and they thought that we were vagrants and beggars and just dirty kids and thought that that was the only life that we had in front of us and um, for us it was really a choice that we made. We chose to live this different life that the, the more we did it, the more beauty we saw in it and the places that we would see were unlike anything any of us had seen before and we realized that the world was really ours to explore and we went out and did everything we could to do it, which, which meant, you know, living without a lot of money and not being able to, you know, stay clean all the time and wear your dirty clothes every day and carry them all on your back and we, we began to think that, that was a really wonderful way to live our lives and the way that people were looking at us didn't really mesh with how we felt and I think a lot of my photographs are trying to show a um, prettier side of what we were doing and because to us it was.